We're going to talk today about getting rid of your dog's food bowl. Uh, when you feed your dog from a bowl, the bowl becomes really important. So instead of putting the food in the bowl and letting the bowl be the really important thing, you can feed your dog and be really important and go through all the training that you have taught your dog in a, like a 10 minute time frame and they've eaten all their food and they're not getting extra calories from treats and it's just a really fun way to bond with them. So I want to talk for a moment. This is Pixie and she's still a puppy and she's supposed to eat anywhere from one and a half to two cups of food a day. So what I did earlier was take half of that portion and soak it in water and let it expand and then I mixed it with yogurt and stuffed some Kong toys and then I topped them off with peanut butter which clearly she's very interested in. Um, so these will be great for when I go to work in the morning. I can put her in her crate with her stuffed Kong toys and because they're frozen it's going to take her a really long time to eat them. It's going to keep her busy while I'm at work. She's going to be happy. She's not going to be hungry. Um, she's going to have things to chew on. And then I took the remaining three-fourths of a cup and I'm going to train with it. And this is just a very simple way that you can train. You can go through your, your repertoire of training that you know. So, Pixie, sit. You're yes, a very good girl. Thank you. I can put some treats on the floor for her, and while she's busy eating those treats, I'm going to sneak away and hide. Pixie, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes, ma'am. Good girl. Good girl. What a good dog you are. And then I'm going to put some more food on the floor and let her eat away at that and practice recall again. Hide in a different spot. important or too rewarding. So we want to make it really rewarding so she gets a whole lot of food for that. What a good girl. I can use her food to load sounds. Yes ma'am, good girl. So found all her food that was left on the floor. I'll let her clean that up. Yes. And now I can practice leave it. So I'm going to take some of the food and put it in my hand and leave the rest in the measuring cup. Pixie, leave it. Yes, good girl. Take it. Excellent. Very good dog. Thank you. Yes. Very nice. I can practice training her the lure hand. With me. Yes. Good girl. Very good girl. Call again. Pixie, come! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Yes, ma'am! Good dog! Very good girl. What a very good dog. And I can even introduce new behaviors that I haven't taught before. So, Pixie is kind of new at down, so I can ask her. Pixie down, and I can wait. She's a little distracted by our other puppy back in the bedroom, so I'm going to lure it down. Yes, good girl. And then, one of the things that we'll, we talk about is that we want our dogs to stay and sit and down for long periods of time. So, I have probably a fourth of a cup left here, 
and I can just give the rest of that fourth of a cup to her for being in a down, and that introduces the beginning framework of stay. And it also teaches her that laying down and being calm is really rewarding. So I have fed Pixie her entire food through stuffed Kong toys and training in probably less than five minutes. So you can do that too, and I hope you will. Thank you.